Hey everybody, welcome back to Shock and Schlock. I'm your host, Herschel Gillis, and today I'm going to be reviewing a film that I had been meaning to get around to for a long time, um, but I never watched for whatever reason. Honor Films put out a very nice Blu-ray of it, though, and it was time. That is, of course, the 1988 Japanese slasher film from Toshiharu Ikeda, Evil Dead Trap. I love this movie. I watched it for the first time yesterday. I'm going to talk about what makes it great in a second. But the initial premise of the film um, is that this uh, TV show host, like a news show sort of host, asks uh, viewers to send in their home movies, and they she receives a snuff film um, that was, it looks to have been shot at a factory that's nearby the news station. Um, so she takes a camera crew out to investigate, um, and someone begins killing them off one by one as they scour the factory. Um, now, what sets this apart from a typical slasher, even from the premise there, is that a lot of the killings in this and slasher stuff are actually, like, from booby traps that the killer had set up, and sort of, like, these very elaborate, like, Rube Goldberg stuff on occasion. Or not super elaborate, but, like, that sort of, like, triggering mechanism to do something, um, which I found really cool. Uh, the slasher himself also looks pretty good. Like, it's an original costume, um, pretty simple, but does an effective job. And what sets this apart from other slasher films, other J-horror and everything, is that this film is balls-to-the-wall insanity. Um, really, from the halfway point onwards, or maybe a little bit more, starts out as a typical slasher, and then there are twists and turns in this film that I would have never seen coming. Um, I have much the same thoughts on this film as I did the film Malignant, um, not connected in any way, but I was like, it, it starts out like fairly normal as a slasher movie and then really hits the insanity later on in the film. Um, in this case, there is a weird plot twist and in some films, I think it would not work as well as it does in here, but in here it's fantastic. Um, just absolutely insanity. Um, absolutely insane, absolute insanity. I'm getting my words mixed up here. Um, because the film is so good. Um, it's extremely well-paced. Never a boring moment in the entire film. Um, we're introduced to the characters early on, but the kills and everything also start early on. Um, the characters are all well-written. We like them. Um, I like the 80s aesthetic of this. Um... The gore, when it's there, is really well done. There's a couple of really nasty parts. This isn't a spoiler, because it's come so early, but someone gets their eyes split in half, like on the snuff film that's sent in, and it's like slow and very nasty. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's pretty brutal when that stuff happens, um, and the traps and everything are creative. And, yeah, it just really sets itself apart in that way. The twist is going to be probably a lot of people's favorite part of the film. Um, but even if you had, like, the beginning stuff, continuing through the movie, just like a typical slasher film with, like, the booby traps and stuff, it'd still be a great movie. Um, interesting characters. The soundtrack is fantastic. Um, really liked the killer. Liked the way the film is shot. There's a lot of cool shots in this film. Um, a lot of color pop, um, the lighting especially is, like, really good. It starts out, like, sort of dark, and there's, like, new places that they keep entering that are really bright and full of color, and it, like, provides this contrast between that and what's happening on screen, like, the brutality of it, um, and it's really cool to look at. There are some really crazy scenes in this, there are some really crazy shots in this, um, and it's just incredibly well done. 
Um, there's a slight amount of comic relief, and you can tell that this film doesn't take itself super seriously a lot of the time. But at the same time, it's not one of those films that's like completely all jokes, or it's not meant to be taken seriously at all. I feel like it finds that balance quite well. Um, yeah, it's it gets dark sometimes, and it gets funny on others, and it gets crazy on others, but it all seems like really well balanced. There's never a dull moment in this, but there's also like not too much thrown at you that it gets overwhelming. Um, it's just really well done, like a condensed, fast-paced, great little horror movie. And I know there's a sequel to this um, that I've heard has nothing to do with it. But honestly, this one is so good that I'm probably going to check that one out as well. Um, yeah, this is it's just a really cool movie. There's a lot of surreal parts in it as well. Um, it reminds me of, like, if David Lynch early on made a s slasher movie sometimes. Um, mixed with, like, something from, like, Dario Argento. Something It's like Evil Dead... A Dario Argento movie and David Lynch all thrown together with 80s aesthetics and gore. And it's awesome. And I love it. Um, this is a movie that holds up extremely well. Uh, this is more entertaining than the majority of new horror movies. And this rightfully is seen as a classic um, I'm glad I finally got around to it. I wish I watched it sooner. But, yeah, this... If you haven't seen this, stop what you're doing. Take everything else off your watch list and just watch this. It's fantastic. I highly recommend the Blu-ray. The transfer is fantastic on it. Uh, everything looks crisp and clear. It looks like a brand new movie. Great stuff. Highly recommended. Must watch Essential Viewing. So, yeah. That wraps up day 28 of my 31 Days of Horror Reviews. Come back tomorrow for another one. Um... Thinking about doing a special thing tomorrow, but we'll see. One that I've had requested quite a bit, and it's kind of hard to find. Um, but I'll tell you where to find it if I do do it. But that's irrelevant. But as always, I've been your host, Herschel Gillis, signing off for today. Zero thoughts, zero editing, zero brain cells, and zero planning. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't. Keep your notifications on, and I'll see everybody tomorrow. Thanks.